is See that step there? Put I was thinking, in. yeah, he made the door shorter and put two flags in to raise it up. We could do that today, we have to place mm. it on top, don't we? Be better, wouldn't it? Yeah, makes sense, like, doesn't it? Yeah. That's so, uh... oh. It's a heavy old door, isn't it? Well, it's not heavy, I want to know what's hitting. It's hitting something on the left door and it's not hitting that. Oh, what's it hitting? Not a lot. A pot and shed, and then see that a killer woodworm in itself. Yeah. I don't think I think the woodworm's long it's long gone. To be yeah. honest with you. Yeah. Well, happy with that. Happy. Just fill them holes in. Yeah, I'll fill them, and uh, just stop some water getting in the western uh, rotten down and it's so. Yeah. 
Yeah, it makes sense to just fill them. Well, before I stain it, yeah. wait for this one. You fill the mills and I'll carry on with that. All right. And we've got to make what with them? We're making the, um, a, another compost heap. Yep. Compost box. Bin, bin. Bin, yeah. Like that one over there, what you want to do done. But we're sure you want the gaps narrower, don't you? Yeah. So it's less air going in. Let's get dark here. So it's no point filling that because that's the inside. So you're not going to see that. What are you doing there? What? What are you doing there? Making new bits so I paint them, take all the old paint off. I make nice bits of all. I don't all paint them, but I want to paint them in a mad colour. It wasn't us, so I've been painted green in the past. Yeah. And this one's painted in white. And it just looked. Looks nice, doesn't it? That's it, doesn't it? Okay. Yeah. I'll paint them. Nice bit of black paint on them. On the... This one, isn't it? Yeah. Not me. <laughs> it's getting all right, that love. You know that bare metal you bought all from the UK where you got for you've got to use it for weld or something. Do you remember? Yeah, it's in the barn. It's in the barn, is it? I fed it down to give me the true mark then. Yeah. So you want it to be nice and neat on you and tight. So it just goes up and down. It's on it. I can drill a hole in it myself then. Yeah. Yeah. Get down the loft here, please. That's a trailer seat. Can I just get there, sir? Do I put your hammer up and hide today? Has that got to be a hammer, then? Yeah. Just thought this might be of interest to some people. Franz just pulled down that shelf up there because he's doing some work in the part and shed. And he's just found a number of little artifacts. I'll just show you what he's just found. Let's try and adjust this camera. What's that? What is that? Massive. With a bullet hole in. Hold on, keep all the way I'll just adjust this camera. You're going the opposite way, you're going the opposite way, that's why. It's got some writing on there. Mechanic, Clarence, Wiggs. Is that what it says? Yeah. And it's got, is that a bullet, actual bullet hole? Yeah, it's got a bullet hole in there. 
comes to that side. You got a US Army spoon. It says US. Is that got it right on it? Yeah, US. Twelve. I see it there. US. It's got an F, then US, then twelve. Yeah. Does it have a date on it? 1916 on the back. Where's that? On the back. Yeah. Oh yeah. We can't actually find the military service records. Oh, and what are they? They bullets? Bullets. What in them is there? Oh, been just, someone's took all the heads off them. There's the head. Someone's defused them. Must have been. Don't forget, they've probably been up there for about 50 years. Yeah. But that's the heads that was on them. But someone's sucked them out. They're not a type of shell, but it's always a big shell. And what's that? That's... I'd say it's a fuse out of a, a, like a mortar shell or something or some kind of bomb. Because that there, I think it's the thing that presses in and screws in. Mm. And when it, on impact, I think that's the type of thing that presses in. That goes in, that's what blows blows up. But I don't know. And that's it. Just have a look. Yeah, US Army as well. Yeah, this is the old US. Yeah, this is the old US. Yeah. It's just nice to hear. See, that's just I think that that man, that could have been with that, that could have been that man's spoon when he was eating his dinner. Yeah. Sad, isn't it? It is sad. But, uh, I'd like to, I would like to find out who he was, where he come from. I think we can't find out. It's a good little fan now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do with them? That's just what the parts of the house are already, so I thought I'd put, put them in a the frame and leave them at the house. I know you're saying to you said about to put them down in a museum. <coughs> yeah. Well, I just thought... We have a museum here in Montfaucon, um, an old war museum, because the house is actually built on an old battlefield. So I just thought maybe they should be in a museum for other people to see. If it was a museum, as a museum like, like a proper museum, but it's not, it's just a private collectively. Yeah, but you know I mean? I'd people to still have to pay to go and look at these items, Yeah, but I'd rather take them down to Vuitton, to the proper museum in Vuitton. Oh, we'll do that then. Well, for that, for that, it's yeah. called, isn't it? What do I do for that? I think, it, I think, it, see, they, these, no museum, I'd say, they take them, but there's just that many of them all over the book, can't it? But these, these two are the most... That's the interesting part, isn't it? Yeah. You can find out who the soldier was. Where he come from. I don't know how. It's amazing, isn't it? Is that what killed him? Did the tin save his life? Yeah, you know, would you? Uh, It would be really interesting to find out. Mm. I'd love to find out. Did, did he get killed? Sad like, isn't it? Mm. When you think about it. My kind of clients like. That's definitely a fuse off a bomb now. Definitely. It's like a large aim. Spark plug. I'm sure it's not a spark plug <coughs> off a tractor or something. No, it's definitely not a spark plug. I remember when we bought the Yeah. Because we had to get David to ask him to come and remove it and mean he come out and collected it in a bucket. Do you remember? It's on the way. Yeah, when we bought the house we found lots of um Ammunition, wasn't it? Ammunition. Um 
There was a bomb disposal kit, wasn't it? What's yeah. that thing in the attic you found? Um, a landmine detector. Landmine detector in the attic. There's all kinds of items we found. <clears throat> a lot of bullets we found that we had to um, get removed safely. And two years ago when Fran was doing a bit of metal detecting, just um, in the, the back of the garden there, he found, what was it you? you oh, found a, a bayonet. He found um, an old bayonet, probably from World War I. He's kept that, yes, that's somewhere. If you find any more items, we'll share them with you. We need to find another we're not allowed to metal detect them, so we haven't done no more metal detecting, have we? No, so but we're if, if we just come across them, we'll, let, mm. we'll share them with the It's illegal to metal detect in front, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget to press the notification bell. See you in the next video.